Hello, Dan Adelkowski here from howtomechatronics.com. In this Arduino tutorial, we will learn how to use the DS3231 real-time clock module. The first question that comes here is why we actually need a separate real-time clock for our Arduino project when the Arduino itself has a built-in timekeeper. Well, the point is that the real-time clock module runs on a battery and can keep track of the time even if we reprogram the microcontroller or disconnect the main power. The DS3231 is a low-cost, highly accurate real-time clock, which can maintain hours, minutes and seconds, as well as day, month and year information. Also, it has automatic compensation for leap years and for months with fewer than 31 days. The module can work on either 3.3 or 5 volts, which makes it suitable for many development platforms or microcontrollers. The battery input is 3V and a typical CR2032 3V battery can power the module and maintain the information for more than a year. The module uses the I2C communication protocol, which makes the connection to the Arduino board very easy. Here's the circuit schematic. So, all we need is 4 wires, the VCC and the ground pins for powering the module and the 2 I2C communication pins SDA and SCL. Once we connect the module, we need to program the Arduino board to work with the real-time clock. However, when it comes to programming a communication between Arduino and an I2C module, the code isn't that small and easy. Luckily, there are already several libraries for the DS3231 real-time clock which can be found on the internet. For this tutorial, I chose to use the library made by Henning Carlsen, which can be found and downloaded from his website, rinkydinkelectronics.com. So, once we download and install the library, we can use its first demo example to initially activate the clock of the real-time clock module. In the setup section of the demo example code, we can notice that there are three lines that we need to uncomment in order to initially set the day of the week, the time and the date. The first line is for setting the day of the week, the second line is for setting the time in hours, minutes and seconds, and the third line is for setting the date in days, months and years. Once we upload this code, we need to comment back the three lines and re-upload the code again. If we take a look at the loop section of the code, we can see that now using the three custom functions, we get the information from the real-time clock and print them in the serial monitor. Here's how they appear in the serial monitor. Now, even if we disconnect the Arduino power and then reconnect it and run the serial monitor again, we can notice that the time keeps going without being reset. So, now we have our real-time clock up and running and we can use it in any Arduino project. As a second example, I connected an LCD to the Arduino and printed the time and the date on it. You can find the source code of this example on my website article. That's all for this tutorial, thanks for watching and for more tutorials and projects, visit my official website howtomechatronics.com.